These ponds are the source water for the Cox's River. Ultimately, it grows and flows into a reservoir which holds drinking water for the five million people of Sydney. Here, the water is clean. Insects are a good sign. The salt content is low. But just downstream, groundwater pumped out of a nearby coal mine joins the source water. It dilutes its purity. Ten kilometres from its source, the Cox's water has also jumped six degrees Celsius in temperature. Just getting a salt reading here, it's a bit over 1,250 microsiemens per centimetre, so the salt level has increased about 25 times. Most of this flow, today it's probably 95%, perhaps more, actually is pumped out of coal mines and is disturbed by the mining process. So scientists and environmentalists are worried by a plan to expand this, the Springvale coal mine, and increase wastewater flowing into the river. Last year, judges in Sydney, after hearing expert evidence from scientists like Wright, blocked the plan on environmental grounds. Politicians have responded by passing a law which retrospectively changes the criteria by which levels of pollution should have been judged. The expansion is back on. It was a devastating decision for us, a very worrying precedent. This was a decision that essentially signalled the government was willing to put the short-term interests of a coal mine in front of the quality of the drinking water in Sydney, the most populous city in Australia. Politicians say wastewater will be better cleaned in future before it's released and say they have to balance environmental concerns with economic priorities. Coal from the mine expansion here will get taken to a local power station. Ultimately, politicians see cheap energy and local jobs as more important than meeting a particular environmental standard. The nearby power station and the mines that supply it are vital to the economy of the town of Lithgow. We were looking at 600 potential permanent jobs lost to this community. That would have been devastating. Centennial Coal declined our request for an interview, saying simply, for over 20 years Springvale has mined coal, this is what we will continue to do. But environmentalists are appalled that rules can be changed retrospectively when the economy is prioritised. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Lithgow.